Remember what I told you, this is our weakest position right now. Yes, sir. The next class of Cincinnati police officers in training. For police recruit Daryl Williams, this grind is the sequel. Definitely the new breed, the new generation. He graduated from the police academy in 1997. Cincinnati's finest. <laughs> he worked patrol in District 3 from 97 to 2006 when he gave up his own dreams to let his oldest daughter chase hers in another state. All the way up. Soon, he'll graduate from the academy a second time. Almost 25 years later, he's going through the same drills and trainings. Oh. One, sir. I used to be the number one or two in running and push ups, sit ups. It's sort, of, it's sort of humbling to come in and now. <laughs> I'm struggling. He's dropped 30 pounds since training started. Thanks to the teasing, he may have laughed off a few. <laughs> 57, because uh, they all call me 56, but I guess they're going to have to change it because I had a birthday in October. I'm 57 now. Well, if I even go back 25 years, he wasn't the youngest person in the class then. He was someone that we all looked up to. Lieutenant Colonel Mike John graduated with Williams in the 83rd class. The now assistant police chief remembers his academy days like they were yesterday. We used to call him Big Daddy. Uh, we actually changed his nickname. One step, step and up. Get back. When we started doing defensive tactics and ground fighting, we called him Big Damage. Get back. Apparently, he's a fierce competitor and a gentle spirit. This is a man that used to pray for our class. I was a community-oriented police officer before they had that name. Squad A to the right, Squad B to the left, move! But why come go, back? Go. Why now? I, I think I still have something to offer. I think I still have something to give back, help the young people understand exactly what they're getting into. Get back! Don't lose control. Lost the balance, all right? I think a lot of them don't really, don't really understand what they're about to see. Some of the things that they're going to see and do, they're never going to be able to uh, take out their mind. Swing it. Lock his helmet for him real quick, please. His fellow recruits are teaching him some things, too. I've never owned a laptop before, so I had to get one for this class. Everything we did was handwritten. Complaints, everything. Daryl L. Williams. A lot changes in 25 years, and a lot stays the same. <laughs> Just so long. The temperament that he has now is exactly the same as he had back in 1997. Those are the best days of my career. Yeah, and you're so humble learning. He's not changed. He is the absolute servant leader. You know, Williams applied to the police academy at least five times since leaving the department. He says it was always on his heart to come back, and he never gave up. He graduates this February. Jatera McGee, WLWT News 5.